So the main event is Kyle O'Reilly and Finn Balor. So I have been beset by technical difficulties all throughout this show, and in fact, all throughout this day, because I'm watching this, and they're face to face doing introductions. They're having a stare down, and they're the uh, announcers reading their names, and suddenly Finn Balor has Kyle O'Reilly in a crossface. And I thought, did I fast? Was I fast forwarding too aggressively? And like one, like a fast, a skip ahead got backed up, and I remember like three times, and it wasn't me. Xfinity cut out. I don't know how many minutes of this match. Well, if that was the finish, then they cut out the whole match. Well, that was the finish. Oh, this was an earlier one. There was was according according to my notes, they cut out a little over half of the match. Oh, happened to you too? Okay. No, according to my notes, they must have cut off a little more than half of the match. I see. I see. Because I see where this crossface was. That sounds about right. Because they were had broken a sweat. They had been working for a while. There's a crossface going on. So, sorry, everyone. I tried my best. Well, I'll do (laughs) it then. All right. So the match was great. It was not as good as their last match, but they didn't have as much time, and it wasn't a takeover match. But it was very, very good, and it was a very simple story, and that was that Finn's working him over. He puts him in an abdominal stretch. Kyle breaks the hold by biting the ropes, and as he's biting the ropes, Finn Balor kicks the ropes and may or may not have broken Kyle O'Reilly's ah, jaw. Ah, I see. So, this all makes more sense now. So now Kyle's jaw's all fucked up, and Finn works over his jaw. And, of course, Kyle makes the big comeback, and they're running wild. And more callbacks. He's working over the shoulder. And then finally, out of nowhere, Finn hits a liver shot. Yes. And he doubles over Kyle O'Reilly, who also has a busted jaw. And he puts him in a Body lock with pressure on the jaw, and Kyle O'Reilly gives up. Match was excellent. What I saw looked fantastic. It was a very, very good match. Like I said, their first match was better, but, I mean, I have no complaints about this match whatsoever. It was excellent. Great storytelling. Callbacks. You had Wade Barrett explaining to fans what a receipt meant in this business Mm. as they were talking about the jaw. It was very, very good. So I love the main event. And then afterwards, Undisputed Air comes out to tend to Kyle, and Balor is not tending to him, but he's looking at him, and not with the arrogant, I just beat you kind of way, but he's looking at him, wants him to know he knows how good Kyle is, but Kyle is just slumped in the corner, and he is bummed. Sad he's bummed, day. but like the story, the story is clearly, I mean, Finn is supposed to be, I don't know what he is. I mean, he's not a heel. He should be a babyface, but they're making him this weird-ass tweener character, which, I mean, in the entire time that Finn Balor has wrestled for WWE, honestly, he's never been less over than he is when they make him a tweener. Like, either make him a babyface or make him a heel. Like, it's common sense. But he's this weird tweener character. But the story seems to be that Kyle beat... Kyle broke his job, but Finn beat Kyle, okay? So it was a great match... But Finn was never able to fully give Kyle the proper respect because he was pissed off that the guy broke his fucking jaw. So now that they've had the rematch and he got his, quote, receipt. Sure. Now that he has gotten his receipt and beaten the guy, now he seems to be willing to give him respect as a fantastic wrestler and such is life. That's what I got out of this. And presumably they will then do, if you would, one would think he'd be carrying Cross versus Finn Balor at the next uh at that Valentine's Day takeover. I presume so. That was that. A very, very good episode of NXT. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.